All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. All praises to the Yahweh, Hashem, Mashak Yosha, Mashem Kadosh. Peace and love and the Holy Spirit. The beloved brothers baptized the new covenant for the mission of sins. All right. And today I want to do a quick video from my brother J. Hall, man, concerning the regeneration and that the regeneration is actually the resurrection, okay, and not the reincarnation, okay. So I'm um, going to bring out the regeneration is actually the resurrection. And that's how we get in the kingdom through the resurrection, which is the new covenant. The new covenant was what? Resurrection. Hamashach Yawashai rose from the dead. It don't say he uh, reincarnated from the dead. You know, all the scriptures in the new covenant tell you that what? He rose from the dead. But if the spirit of him that rose the Messiah from the dead be in you. Come on now. All right. So the new covenant represents the Masiach, Yahweh Shai being risen from the dead. The new covenant doesn't represent reincarnation. That's one thing. The new covenant doesn't represent reincarnation. The new covenant represents what? Resurrection, which is a principle of Yahweh Shai. And I'm going into one of the principles of Yahweh Shai, which is the resurrection. Which, uh, if you're in Yahweh Shai, that's what you should be teaching. Resurrection. Right? Which uh, a lot of brothers look at this word regeneration and uh, think it's talking about reincarnation, but it's actually talking about the resurrection. Which that's how uh, we receive the regeneration right now by what we've been regenerated <laughs> in the flesh through the spirit. Right? What it says, though the outward man perish, the inner man is renewed day by day. Because what? That inner man is keeping this uh, mortal body alive now. It's regenerating the body. You know what I'm saying? Your body break down every goddamn day, man. So let's go into regeneration. <clears throat> it says regeneration in humans is the regrowth of lost tissues or organs in response to an injury. And what's that? That's the resurrection. All right? And that's uh, what's going to happen in the resurrection, which I'm going to get the prophecy Showing that the Lord is going to put the sinews upon our people and give give them those resurrected bodies, according to Ezekiel 37. Right? Ezekiel 37 rep represents the resurrection. That's not reincarnation. Okay? That's not uh, Elder Tahar's curriculum. So it says regeneration in humans is the regrowth of lost tissues, meaning that dead body. Those tissues and sinews is going to be, he going to give you new skin, which this skin is going to be immortal. See that? The regrowth of lost tissues or organs in response to injury. So we have a form of regeneration already in us. When you, when you cut your hand, what happens? Your body uh, automatically goes to regenerate that cut. See that? This is a contrast to wound healing. Or partial regeneration, which involves closing up the injury site with some uh, gravitation of scar tissue, which they showed a uh, form of regeneration, even with the nano the nanotechnology, right? Which the nanotechnology is supposed to what heal wounds, heal deadly wounds, fake regeneration, right? Some tissues such as skin. The vast difference in large organs, including the liver, can regrow quite readily. Which, uh, to be honest, I cut my finger at work. What, uh, last week on, on all four fingers, I cut. I cut myself on all four fingers, and what? The wounds of those cuts has already been regenerated. 
they already been healed. Okay? And this is what's going to happen in, in the resurrection. The people whose body's been damaged is going to regrow. But when it regrows, it's going to come back immortal. It's not coming back uh, corruptible, which would be uh, anything that's not dealing with immortality. And reincarnation is not dealing with immortality. So reincarnation can't be the regeneration because the regeneration is dealing with what? Immortality. Just like what? Your body always is going to heal itself when you cut yourself. Right? Unless you lose too much goddamn blood and uh, it's not able to hit regenerate itself quick enough. And that uh, wound doesn't heal quick enough. Right? So... When your body cut itself, if the cut ain't too damn big, the, the wound regenerates, man. Okay? Which they say you can re, uh, regenerate. Some people say you can regenerate uh, all type of stuff. Regenerate bald spots. <laughs> regenerate uh, various things. Uh, basically, wounds and stuff like that. Right? People get shot and what? The skin comes back over it, man. It might be a wound, but what? The skin heals. It regenerates. It regrows. The, the tissues regrow. Okay? So let's go down. It says numerous tissues and organs have been in induced to regenerate. Butters have been 3D printed in a lab since 1999, which they doing it on the science side. Skin tissue can be regenerated in vivo or in vitro. Other organs and body parts that have been procured to regenerate include penis, fats, vagina, brain tissue, thymus, and a scaled down human heart. One goal of scientists is to induce full regeneration in more human organs. So, yeah, the body naturally regenerate, man, you know, certain stuff like, you know, skin uh, tissues being uh, harmed. Okay. It says in humans with non-injured tissues, the tissue naturally regenerates over time by default. Just like what? You have to uh, wash your skin and take baths. You know, your body keeps regenerating. Your hair keeps regenerating. No matter how many times you want to get a haircut, that hair is always going to regenerate, man. Even in this body. This body's supposed to be corruptible, but guess what? The body still does immortal things. It still regenerates. See that? Your hair on your damn arms and chest always regenerates. Your leg hairs, your, toe, your toenails uh, continue to grow. And regenerate no matter what okay so let's see what else I got on this it says some human organs and tissues regenerate rather than simply scar as a re result of injury these include the liver fingertips yeah your fingertips can regenerate I remember my little brother this dude cut his fingertips so bad and, and uh Guess what? His fingertips came back, man. I don't know what the hell he did, but he cut his fingertips really bad and they regenerated. You know, I fell down some stairs when I was little and tripped on a golden garbage can and ripped a whole bunch of skin off my left arm. And what happened? What? I didn't even go to the doctor and what my, my skin, they patched me up, put me some alcohol and peroxide and what? My skin regenerated and, and uh, the cells re heal themselves okay this is the real resurrection the real regeneration when that skin come back on that body that's not uh that's not reincarnation that's resurrection which we're gonna get it it says so let's read it again regeneration in humans is the regrowth of lost tissues or organs in response to injury this is in contrast to wound healing. Just like when what we're dead in the old covenant, we come into the new covenant, what we've been what regenerated, we've been reborn 
uh, in the flesh, right? But what there's a spiritual regeneration, and that spiritual regeneration is what the eternal resurrection, which is comes with those immortal bodies in First Corinthians 15, which is clearly resurrected bodies. So it says regeneration in humans is the regrowth of lost tissues. Okay, when you regrow a lost tissue, that's not you being reincarnated, man. All right? That's your body healing itself, man. When you get a cut and uh, you're bleeding and shit, you might either cut your hand at work or something, and you start bleeding, and then what? You go, what, wash your hands and put soap on it and, you know, uh, put a Band-Aid on it? What? And after you take the Band-Aid off for a little bit, what? You see that that blood stop. And the skin start healing again. You get you get new skin, baby. The skin regenerate, goddammit. When that skin regenerating on your body, that's not you what being uh coming back as a baby, man. That's regeneration, baby. When uh you regrow lost tissues. Now let's show regeneration in the prophecies when you regrow lost tissues, and it's referred to as the resurrection. If you can see it. So I'm going to get into Ezekiel 37. When uh, we regrow tissue. So let's read it again. Regeneration in humans is the regrowth of lost tissues or organs in response to injury. Which some animals can regenerate too. Let's go up to here. See, it's got a lot of regeneration stuff on here. They got animals that can regenerate. Look at that. You got lizards, starfish, hydras, which they say they put that in a in the uh in in the in the, in, in the jelly bean right salamanders zebra fish they're said to be able to regenerate regeneration in simple animals yeah so some some of these animals can regenerate that's not them uh becoming a whole new uh baby right look at this it says flatworm, what they regenerate, any part of their bodies, including their heads. Okay, this is the flatworm. It can regenerate his whole goddamn head. A sea star, limbs, and even their whole bodies if their central nerve ring is intact. You got this thing, which can uh, regenerate his limbs and his goddamn spines. You have, four, and these are all vertebrates and invertebrates. You have frogs. Tadpoles can regenerate limbs but lose this ability in adulthood. A human, an adult human regeneration is largely limited to skin and liver cells. Okay? So this is regeneration. Starfish, so you see the, the, the different things can regenerate. But everybody doesn't have... Uh, the immortal regeneration okay which these bodies does immortal things and they always continue to heal, heal itself but what you you gotta have that regeneration to where it's it's incorruptible like Corinthians say right where it, you never can be destroyed again and we're gonna get that in Ezekiel in a minute okay what is generation with two examples it is a phenom which brings about repair of the damaged cells slash tissues. And that's what happens. He said he what? He put sinews and skin upon the dry bones. The dry bones receiving the skin represents what? Them receiving the regeneration. Which we know this, that's talking about people that's been slain. Okay. Let's see. What is an example of regeneration in human in humans with not injured tissues? The tissue naturally and you can bust your goddamn lip. Somebody can bust you in the lip. And what? That that lip, that lip can heal. <clears throat> and that busted lip, what? That skin regenerate on that busted lip. You can what have a bump. And you pop it and it busts. And then next thing you know, you put a little alcohol on it and all that. And what? It regenerate and heal, baby. Okay? That goes into regeneration, your body healing. Okay? The tissue naturally regenerates over time by default. New, new available cells replace 
expended cells. For example, the body regenerates a full bone within 10 years, while non-injured skin tissue is regenerated within two weeks. What do humans regenerate? The liver is the only organ in the human body that can regenerate. That's pretty deep. Although some patients who have diseased portions of their liver removed are unable to regrow the tissue and then end up needing a transplant. Researchers from Michigan State University believe blood clotting factors uh, may be responsible. All right. So they got what is regeneration in the Bible? Regeneration is an impartion of divine life, which is manifested in the radical change in the moral character of man from the love of life to sin and love of God and the life of righteousness, right? Which that would be, uh, you know, uh, metaphorical as well, which twofold regeneration uh, has various meanings, which uh, were regenerated by the faith of the new covenant and there's going to be actual uh, regeneration of the dead like we read in Ezekiel the dry bones receiving the sinews man alright or hey you can get a black eye baby in that black eye heel man this is regeneration well, let's see what else uh, let's see if they got anything else on here Hmm. Examples of regeneration in humans. Oh, yeah, they talk about the liver. So, you know, regeneration goes into regrowing lost tissues, man. Missing cells, man. Okay. Also going into what bringing that body together. Yeah, facts about human body. How long it oops it takes to grow hair. How long it takes your body to regrow nineteen types of cells and organs from your skin to your skeleton. The human body is in a constant state of regeneration. You hear that? From this, that's not your body uh, reincarnating as a baby every time you you bust your goddamn lip. The human body is in a constant state of regeneration, from the cells in our skeleton to the toes on our to uh, nails on our toe, right? When you tell your toes nails, that all come from cells and stuff. What did it, what it do? It keeps regrowing, man. Your hair, it keeps regrowing. Right? Because what our body is a walking regeneration. Because it keeps regenerating. Uh, some cells are replaced more quickly than others, and some body parts never get replaced. Okay? The process is easy to see if you watch babies. Limbs grow and their bodies get bigger. It also obvious when our toenails grow, our healthy skin emerges after a burn peels away. But less obviously, systems of regrowth and rebirth in the body continue through adulthood. Dead skin cells constantly rise to the surface of our body, get sloughed off, then are replaced by new stem cells. That's regeneration, man. Some areas of the body take a long time to refresh themselves. For example, our fat storage cells shift roughly once per decade while we get refreshed livers about once every 300 days. Okay. See if they got anything else. Not every body part regenerates or changes, though. While the body's hairs are in a near constant state of growth, parts of human brain and, and head pretty much finish developing at birth. Okay, that's what they're going into. But as y'all can see, though, man, you know, regeneration, you can see it in, in, in uh, humans and in animals and in, in, uh, different uh Bugs and shit, man. You know, or uh, even on Dragon Ball Z, Piccolo. Piccolo can regenerate. Let's get Piccolo. Piccolo's regeneration. See that? Later still in the Majin Buu saga, Piccolo demonstrates that he can regenerate from any wound. 
so long as his head is intact. See that? So this is not Piccolo being reincarnated, even though they do got reincarnation in Dragon Ball Z. But this is uh, separate. This is regeneration. Cell acquired the ability by being created in part by Piccolo cells. Okay. How much can Piccolo regenerate? Hmm. So that's that's his regeneration when your your body and your cells is healing it, healing itself. Regeneration. See that Piccolo lost his whole, whole goddamn arm, bro. He regenerated. Regeneration. Rebirth is the ability to regrow certain body parts or cells that have been dismembered or destroyed. See that? And this is what re re uh, resurrection is, man. But he's going to uh, he's gonna make it immortal. Okay? Let's lock it up. It went away. See that? The, the body is, is uh, what it says, the out man perish. The inner man is renewed because what? It's regenerating, baby. Still like it. See that? Piccolo got his whole arm chopped off. They regenerated on him. Um, hey, what it says, resurrection. Dragon Ball Z even got damn no regeneration is the resurrection. Even Dragon Ball Z know it, brothers. See that? The wicked one trying to slow it down a little bit. It keeps he keep popping that resurrect regeneration resurrection off. See that? So re uh, regeneration is the resurrection. Remember Yahweh Shai, what he he died. His outer man perished and what? It was regenerated. That same body. Not a different body. That same body re reborn and re uh animated and resurrected. Just like what Piccolo, his same body is regenerated. And what it says, alternate names, Sasi, rebirth. I want to move it. See, that's the wicked one. And then it says, Sasi, rebirth, resurrection for alternate names under the Piccolo picture of regeneration. It debuts in Goku's trap. Regeneration, also called Sase, rebirth is an ability that allows its users to replace limbs lost in battle and recover from similar severe damage. Piccolo was the first one to use this, displaying it during battle with him and Goku, man. And I'm about to show y'all regeneration in Ezekiel, man. This is me. It says, Nail regenerates his hand during a fight with Frieza. It says, most Namekians are able to use the regeneration technique. This ability is first seen during the 23rd World Martial Art Tournament after Goku redirects Piccolo's own Chasing bullet backing at Piccolo, which severely damages Piccolo's arm. Piccolo then proceeds to tear the injured arm off in the horror of all spectators and regenerates a new one. Come on, man. We have in the blue, in the purple, it says later still in the Majin Buu saga, Piccolo demonstrates that he can regenerate from any wound so long as his head is intact. Cell acquires ability by being created in part by Piccolo's cells, man. See that? They said the head is where the regenerative nucleus, the regenerative organ is located. On occasion, cell regener regenerates from extremely severe wounds, including ones left no part of his body. Hey, even Majin Buu can regenerate too. If if they show Majin Buu, she they show uh, cell regeneration, revive. Okay, see that he got his whole arm and leg chopped off. Dog regenerated. Okay. Oh yeah, Majin Buu. It says Majin Buu has the greatest level of regeneration in the series, allowing him to regenerate lost appendage, 
just holes in his body recover from being blown in pieces. And this is what Yahweh Shah had the ability to do, right? Recover his body, right? And what he had, he, he recovered, he had the holes and nails in his hand. But what after that, you know, clearly he put on that transfiguration and regenerated to his transfiguration form <laughs> or even being blasted to vapor so long as he is not completely atomized and in his case, though, his entire body is in unstable form. All right, so I got to really go to bed, man, because I got to get to work in a little bit. But I did this for the beloved, man. It says, Boo's written generation has its limits. As after being beaten repeatedly, he started to explore, regenerate. Geneva, although who is not known for having great regenerative powers, was able to heal from the injury Pycon inflicted on him by assaulting him almost instantly. So I didn't know that about uh, Genebla. So yeah, man, regeneration is in Dragon Ball Z. It's in the animals. It's in the humans. And now I'm about to show y'all in the Bible, baby. And guess what? It's called the resurrection even in Dragon Ball Z. Now let's show you in the Bible it's, it's the resurrection. We're going to go to Ezekiel 37 when uh, they get the, uh, the skin regenerates. Ezekiel 37 and 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and sent me down the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley and they were very dry. Right? This is talking about people that really died. This is the real resurrection and the prophets. <clears throat> and he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? Meaning can you come back to life and your body regenerate after being destroyed. And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. And he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. Right? Give you the breath of life. And I will lay sinews upon you and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live and you shall know that I am the Lord. See that? So that's the regeneration. When the Lord put that sinew and that flesh and that skin back on that body and back on them dry bones. See that? Let's go to the word sin, sinews. <clears throat> right? The tendon, all that, man. He put that flesh back on you. So that's that's the resurrection. Shalom.